Dr. Dave Sluggett, uh, Chairman of the Council Terrorism Conference 2014. So some of those key things are highlighting the diversity of the threat that we now have uh, across the world. Um, in, in past years, that threat has had tended to be either Irish republicanism or uh, Muslim, Muslim extremism. We've now got a conflation of those. We've got uh, other dimensions coming in with the extreme right wing. So there's the, the problems for the UK are not just all about Muslim extremism. There's a lot more elements to it. That makes uh, problems on the wider international stage. Uh, the Syria problem we have with people being recruited to go out to Syria, uh, the possibility they may come back and get involved in terrorism activity in the UK. Uh, issues. Uh, we also have the concerns about uh, the Arab Spring, the aftermath of it. Several countries have not been able to take that little window, that moment when it was a um, possibility they could democratise in some way, shape or form. We've seen turmoil in Egypt, we're seeing turmoil in a number of other countries along the Sahel in North Africa. Um, um, they unfortunately are closer to us, so if terrorist training camps manage to get a finger a footprint in, in those areas, then we're, we're literally having things on our back door, not, not so many miles away in Pakistan. So this is a very dynamic, very difficult situation. It's very convolved, it's complex, and uh, it's increasing the potential for uh, various acts of terrorism to migrate from overseas towards the UK, and that's a real concern for us, and that's a major thing that's come out of the conference. So that inter, interlinking of uh, terrorist activities globally, do you think that's going to be one of the key emerging issues for agencies worldwide to look at in the coming year? That's a very good question. The, one of the problems that is creating is a ease of proliferation of tactics and weapons and ideology to move into new areas. So what we started to see originally was a number of areas where Al-Qaeda managed to establish a footprint and they were quite individual. You could think of them almost as islands, those particular areas. What we're now starting to see is some of those islands beginning to geographically overlap and when you see the overlap you might begin to see things actually joining up and you see movement of tactics, of ideology and of terrorism uh, uh, equipment, uh, particularly uh, the, the sort of techniques in bomb making, and the one worry we have is that with various improvised chemical devices being developed in, in Syria at the moment, could that start to manifest itself back in towards Western Europe and, and present us with an even more serious threat than the kind of conventional threats that we've been dealing with so far. Everyone is having to learn um, on the fly uh, to be very flexible and adaptable. Uh, rigid structures are not the way to respond to this particular threat. The, the, the way to deal with a complex and evolving morphing threat is to actually have a very flexible and agile uh, international capability with elements like Interpol playing their role in it, uh, the European Union playing their role in it, that actually enables a lot more exchange of information that possibly has been the, the case in the past. Um, the, many, many times in the past people have been somewhat protective of the information they have for all sorts of legal reasons. Um, we need greater flexibility in terms of being able to share that information in order to um, combat what is a dramatically evolving threat at the moment.